Welcome back everyone, this is J7Jace bringing you some Orlando builds. While he is widely considered overpowered because of his great stats, abilities, and equipment options, I'll be showing you how I like to build him to take his power level above and beyond. Let's get started. When he first joins the party, he comes with Excalibur, a crystal set of armor, and Bracer. While this is more than adequate in most cases, I like to equip him with Power Garb and Headband, then increase his bravery to 97, as you will see a drastic damage increase. Early on, for his abilities, you really don't have to go that further out, but move plus one from Sword Saint and you're pretty set. Depending on his level, or if you really want to get the most out of his Sword Saint stat growths, have him stay in this job until he is level 99, and then start branching out to get abilities from other things. This first build I have for him won't take that long in order to get. Secondary items, auto potion, attack boost, and then move plus two. This will increase his survivability, mobility, and damage and Excalibur along with the equipment from the shops can handle most things. This second setup I have, he will be able to deal a lot of damage while being quite durable. For his equipment, Chaos Blade. Its massive weapon attack and regen are too good to pass up, Reverie Shield, Acacia Hat or Thief's Hat, Lordly Robe, and then Brigand's Glove. Onto his abilities, Secondary of your choice, Adrenaline Rush, Defense Boost, and Life Font. Orlando will be able to tank hits very well as defense boost and protect from Lordly Robe will stack. He will also gain 1 speed from Adrenaline Rush anytime he takes damage, making him faster over the course in any fight. If you'd rather not use defense boost and focus more on damage, use attack boost instead, as this may be better versus tougher enemies with max HP like Tiamat or other endgame Lukavi whose health exceeds the normal limit cap. I showed this dual wield build before on my channel, but it's all about equipping anything that will boost his speed. So Acacia Hat, Ninja Gear, Brigand's Glove, and then dual wield Chaos Blades or Durandal for Protect and Shell. You'll have less HP, but you'll get in turns a lot quicker. Just put Mana Shield for his reaction ability and then move plus three or Mana Font. You'll be a fast mobile killing machine. Overall, Orlando is overpowered because of his equipment options, insane abilities, and very strong stats while also having a base move of 4. Just keep his bravery high, lower his faith, and equip a Night Sword, and this is overkill and more than enough for most battles. Thank you all so much again for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you love FFT, and I'll see you next time with more videos. Take care.